Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. So welcome to week five of the pantry and freezer challenge. If you're new to our challenge, I did a pantry freezer challenge in January and have decided to continue into February. So we are kicking off our dinners this week with some teriyaki short ribs. Had these in my freezer. When I find them on sale, I marinate them and put them in the freezer and then just defrost them when we're ready to have them. I do not remember the marinade that I used. Um, it is long gone. But um, as I said, they're grilled um, short ribs. And then I had some fresh corn on the cob and we're serving that with butter and salt. And then I had some baby potatoes in the fridge and I added this H-E-B cooking sauce to them um, as well. It's okay. Uh, they don't, that sauce really doesn't have a lot of flavor. I did add some salt to it and you're supposed to just cook the potatoes separately and then when they come out of the oven, you're just supposed to toss them in the sauce, but I put them back in the oven because um, I just felt like it just needed to kind of adhere to the potatoes. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having ground beef stroganoff. Now this is a recipe that I have made on our channel before. It's been a while, but I have been making this for years and I love it. I don't know why I don't make it more often. It just calls for a few simple ingredients and it really does take about 10, 15 minutes to make. So I'll make sure to link that recipe in the description box. But I am serving this ground beef stroganoff over some egg noodles and also some canned green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having this jumbo breaded butterfly shrimp. I popped it in the air fryer, and here it is. I also popped a large baked potato in the air fryer, split it in half for Howard and I, and then we are having some leftover green beans from the other night. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having chicken cordon bleu pasta. It is a really quick and easy dish. I have made this at least a couple of times on our channel, and I will make sure to link that video in the description box so you can check out the recipe. It is so good. Um, with it, I am just serving a simple Caesar salad. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, trying out a new recipe. It is sesame ground chicken. And in my skillet, I've got some ground chicken. I've got garlic and onion that I've cooked up. What you just saw me add was a mixture of this chili garlic sauce. I also added some soy sauce. There's some brown sugar in there as well and some sesame oil. So now it's time for me to add some chicken broth. I'm gonna be using some bouillon, so I've just got some water here, and I'm just going to be using this bouillon. And then I'm gonna stir it up and let it simmer, and then I'll show you what comes next. All right, so my mixture is simmering away, and I've got my cornstarch slurry here. Just gonna pour it in, mix it up, and let it thicken up a little bit. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I'm serving it over some jasmine rice and serving it with some stir fried green beans. And then I just garnished it with a little bit of green onion and sesame seed. It is pretty good, I like it. It's a nice change from the beef version that I have done before in the past. But if I didn't mention it, I will make sure to put the recipe in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.